eyebrows. They seem to be the star of the show these days. Everywhere you look, people are talking about eyebrows. They're doing eyebrow bars and eyebrow microblading. And why is there so much attention on eyebrows? Well, because they frame the face. When they don't look good, you notice them. When they look good, just everything looks perfect. You don't have to have fear in doing your eyebrows. Today, no fear eyebrows, because you are still gorgeous. When I was little, my eyebrows were the bane of my existence. They were huge. They were curly. They went on forever. They weren't a unibrow, luckily. I didn't have to worry about that, but they were just so big, and we had no idea how to tame them. And then I listened to all the wrong advice in magazines, where you start, you should pluck before the nose, and back here, and the line that goes, and they become overplucked. And then as we age, why? I don't know, but we happen to lose a lot of them. And now my eyebrows are very thin. So I learned little tricks about how to make them look thicker without looking fake. Because let me tell you something. I've seen women with these painted on eyebrows. It makes you look older. Listen, you know I'm all about fast and easy and quick and fearless. And that's what we're going to do with eyebrows. So we're going to start with my showing you how my eyebrows really look without makeup. So here I am without my eyebrows. This is how they are. They used to be huge, huge. I used to need like a little lawnmower with a guy there to get rid of them. They were so big. And I guess with plucking and age and everything, they just decided to say, see ya. So this is what I'm left with. Now, eyebrows are so big now, literally and figuratively, literally in that I see these young women with brows that go on forever and very thick. Microblading is out there. I may experiment with that and see because they look very natural. You just have to be careful who does it. But anyway, if you don't want to deal with that and the permanence and the money and all of that, we do what I'm going to show you. It's not going to take long. And all you need are three things. One is a pencil, and I recommend the color taupe. Taupe is a neutral color and it's good for every skin tone from blondes through brunettes. I used to do the dark brown, but my hair is brown with some red and it was more stressful for me because it looked fake and it looked dark and it looked heavy. You can't go wrong with taupe. And as you can see, the size of this is little. I use it every single day and keep this sucker sharp. Have that sharpener and keep it really sharp so you can make, you can either use the flat end or the pointy end. You want to use this, and I'll show you. This is by Tarte. It's an eyebrow waterproof gel. And I use this to actually create little hairs. I'll show you. And then you want one of these brushes that we talked about. One is, is one end is a spoolie and the other is a nice flat thin eyebrow brush. Now keep this clean, please. And I'll tell you why. Besides for hygienic reasons, as the product builds up on this, the brush actually becomes thicker and fatter and you don't get those precise little brows. Okay. I'm going to show you and you're going to see it's going to take no time. Remember, <sighs> no fear eyebrows. I'm going to take my little mirror and take my taupe pencil. You know, they also have those things that you spin up, that you twist, and then the product comes out and you use that like a pencil. But here's why I don't like those, because I was left once not knowing that I was totally out and I spun it up and it's like, where's my eyebrow pencil? I can't leave the house. I'm a little dramatic sometimes, but this you always know exactly how much you have and when it's time to buy another one, which is like tomorrow. So I'm going to take my little mirror because our budget here is about a dollar. And I'm going to show you first, you're going to in little strokes, li always little strokes. Listen, I see women even younger than me with like painted on Groucho style eyebrows. Don't do that. Don't do that. Cause all you notice is you have painted on eyebrows. You don't need to, you can really fake it with what I'm going to show you. Okay. So you take your pencil, and you look in your mirror and you make little strokes. And the first thing I do is I bring the line out to where it should be, which is sort of by the corner. And then I make little strokes going from down to up, down to up. And I fill in a little bit up to my arch. 
and then I bring it down the tail end. Then I may want to fill in a little bit more, maybe get rid of some of that. Now look at that already. It's so much better. I mean, I could just leave the house like this and I'd be fine and nobody would notice it would do what it's supposed to do, which is frame the rest of my face. But I'm still going to do that, that other part. Okay. And also the first pass is the first pass. You may need to change it. You may need to add, you may need to take some away. Don't worry, just do it. Just get it on and go to the next one. Did you, by the way, see how fast that was? I'm not kidding when I say I don't spend more than five minutes in the morning doing my makeup. I really don't. Okay, so first I'm going to start here and I'm going to bring out the line to about where my eye corner is. And now little strokes, I'm going to bring it out. Now also both eyebrows are rarely the same and they need different attention. This one seems to dip a little bit more, so I have to bring this up. One is usually the star eyebrow and the other is, all right, it's good enough. Wait, wait till I show you how to do my eyeliner. One side usually is perfect and the other I have to do like two or three times. Okay, so we have that and that's fine. I think it looks nice. Now I'm gonna take my spoolie. I don't know where they got that word, but that's what it is. And you're gonna break up the, you're gonna break up the uh, fibers of the product. So it blends it and it breaks it up. Let's move this away so you can see. I have like hair for three people, so let me move it away. Okay, now, okay, now the fun part. Nothing is scary, nothing is scary. You're gonna dip it, let me put this down. Here's the product. Just paint, 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 put it down. Now watch, I'm gonna draw a couple little hairs couple little hairs. And what do I mean by that? That you see there's space between each little mark that I do. And now I'm going to smooth it. And I'm going to do the other side. A couple little hairs right here. And a little hair that lives right there. Remember that guy on PBS, Bob Ross? And here's a little tree that lives right there. That was a nice show. That was calming. He turned like nothing into these great pictures. Amazing. Okay. All right. How long did that take? Like no time at all. Now, a little trick too that I do sometimes is I have a little wayward hair. You know, usually you'd pluck that or you'd somehow push it down and let it join the rest with some gel or something. I sometimes have one little hair, a little out of place to make it look a little more natural. So here you have it. Brows, how do they look? Pretty good, I think so. I don't always do the second step with the painting the brow. Sometimes just a little bit of the pencil is enough for me, just so it frames your face and everything looks complete. Please don't worry about making your brows perfect. I just showed you how you can do it and look great and it frames your face. Again, you just don't want colors that are too dark because you don't want like walking brows, like overpowering that takes away from the rest of your beauty because you are still gorgeous. And that's no fear eyebrow. I'll see you next time. If you like this episode, there are gonna be lots more to come. So like and subscribe and tell all your friends.